Hello, my name is Kishwani. That's K E S H W A N I. Kishwani. We are here because we want to prepare for SAT. We have been solving SAT math problems out of this book here, the SAT Official Study Guide 2020. If you do not own this book already, purchase one immediately. You're going to need it. Today, We'll solve some problems that you will find on page number 740. Please turn to it. Always make sure the book is in front of you. On page 740, it begins with problem number 19. If at the end of the video you find this helpful and you decide that you would like to work with me, you can always get hold of me by sending me an email at kishwaniprep at icloud.com. Let's take a look at number seven, number 19. In number 19, we are told that A is equal to 4 plus W over 30. And we are simply asked to solve for W. Nothing to it. We have two equations there. What the, what the equations are actually call, we really don't care about them. Don't worry about what they are called. Just pay attention on the, on, on the work itself. So, it says uh, for the current formula, and the current formula is the one that is on the bottom. Just here to pay attention. And the one, one in the bottom is the one I have on the blackboard. It simply says, what's, what's, the, what's, what's W in terms of A? Let's find out, shall we? Enough of the talk. Multiply both sides by 30. We get 30, 30 A is equal to 4 plus W. And therefore W is simply 30, 30 A minus 4. It couldn't be any simpler than that. And that's answer choice A. Let's, look at, let's take a look at the next one, shall we? Number 20. Number 20 says that the two equations that we have there, the I don't know how to pronounce the guy's name, the M's equation and C's equation, that they tell us that here's the here's the first equation, square root of HW over 60 equals A, and they tell us the second equation also gives us the value of A that is same as what we get out of this equation. Let me see how it's phrased actually. It says both of these equations give the same estimate for A. There you go. They both give us the same estimate of A, except this time they are asking us to solve, solve for square root of HW. So that's what we're looking for. We're going to solve for square root of HW, which is right here. And since this, since this part is equal to A, and that part is equal to A, which means these two are equal. Which means these two equations are equal. And we want to solve for square root of HW, which is right here. All we have to do is multiply both sides by 60, and we're done. Multiply both sides by 60, 60 is going to go away, and square root of HW is simply uh, 60 divided by 30 is going to be 2. So it's just 2 times 4 plus W. And there's your answer. And that's answer choice C. Very simple, very straightforward. Let's look at the next one, shall we? Number 21 on the next page. In number 21, what is being asked here is, what is the approximate, they're looking for approximate, not the exact, what is the approximate increase in fat for each one gram increase, let's put this in the second line, what's the approximate increase in fat for each one gram increase in protein. As you can see, since they are showing since they are showing the 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 fat on the y axis and the protein on the x axis asking for what is the approximate increase in fat for each one unit increase in protein, which is the same as saying What's the change in y for each one unit change in x? They're looking for the slope. They're looking for the slope. The slope 
which is m, is simply the change in y over change in x. Over here, it's just going to be the change in fat over the change in protein. And if you look at the graph carefully, I'm not going to put the entire thing and all the details because we don't have time for it, but if you, you have the book in front of you, if you look at the block graph, you don't have to be exact. It does, it's not a rocket science. They're looking for approximate slope. That's all it is. If you look at it, you will see that the line goes through, line goes through 1020 and 3050. It goes through 1020 and 3050. That's fine, shall we? So 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. There is your 10. And here it goes through 10, 20, 30. 10, 20, right here. It goes through that point, which is 10, 20. We don't actually have to plot it. Once I tell you the, where the line goes through, we just need two points to find out the slope. We don't actually, we don't actually have to draw the bloody thing. I'm just doing it for your benefit. 30, 50. So there is a 30 and there is a 50 right here. Drawing, drawing the bloody thing actually doesn't serve any purpose. Do you understand? We just want the slope. Let's do the slope then. Let's do it on the top. So the slope is equal to change in y over the change in x. Change in y over the change in x. Let's go from here to here. That way we have to we deal with the positive quantity. Going from 20 to 30 would have given a we would have to deal with negative in both directions. 50 minus 20. 50 minus 20. Over over 30 minus 10. 50 minus 20 is 30, 30 minus 10 is 20, there you go. The slope is 3 halves, which is 1.5. Slope is approximately 1.5. Pick an answer choice that comes closest to it and that's it. And the one that comes closest to it is 1.5. The answer is C. Which is the approximate slope, obviously it's not the exact slope. Uh, and they give you the approximate value. Whatever the slope is, it's approximately turns out to be 1.5. The answer is C. Let's do the next one, last one on the page. Number 22. In number 22, they give us the median. They give us the median for 50 states. They give us the median for 50 states and they tell us that the median is 26.95%. What it is that they're measuring is of no, uh, no interest to us. We, don't, we could care less what it is they're measuring. Whatever the hell they're measuring for the 50 states, the median is 26.95%. The median for the 7 states that are given to us, median for seven states that are given to us is something we'll have to figure out ourselves. The question simply is, what is the difference, what is the difference between the median for the seven states minus the median for the 50 states? That's all we have to figure it out. Let's find out, shall we? So, so first, let me put the observation on the blackboard as they appear in the book, and then we'll worry about what the median is. So this is how they appear, 22, 28, 26, 20, 30, 36, and 35. So in order for us to look at the median, we have to arrange them in order. And since there are only seven of them, the median is going to be the fourth one. Three on the top, three on the bottom. It's very simple. So let's, let's find that. All right, here you go. I found the smallest one. The smallest one is 20. Then I say 22. Then I see 26, then I see 28, and that's the median. And then the remaining bottom three, it really doesn't matter what, it, it makes absolutely no difference to us as far as we are concerned as to what, what order they fall into. We were just trying to look at the median, the median is 28, we have three on the top, three on the bottom, that's all it is. The median is 28, median of the seven states is 28, minus the median of all 50 states is 27. There you go. The answer is approximately 
pick one of the choice that comes closest to it and that's all there is there's nothing more to it and I see and I see the one that comes closest to 1% is 0.95% answer is B answer is B that was the end of that page we're not going to start a new page we'll meet again tomorrow and pick up where we left off if you wish to get hold of me send me an email as I said before at kishwaniprep at icloud.com alright bye now